Okay, hey everybody, this is Grace, and I've been sitting out here trying to get videos done, and it's been <laughs> one thing after another. I even turned around and parked on the other side of the street. But it's a lot of foot traffic, a lot of kids, and a lot of people. And I don't know, somebody kind of drove up on the side of me over here. Not too, kind of catty corner, you would call it. Okay. <laughs> anyway. And I don't put other people's kids in my videos. I'm not perfect with it. It could have actually slipped one or two. I don't think I have, but maybe. You never know. I'm not perfect. Anyway, I've been trying to get through some of the stuff that I've made notes with. Today's December 28, 2022, and I made these notes, you know, just during the holidays, you know, and didn't get, haven't gotten around to these. So, uh, but I have mentioned some of this in other videos some, 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 some. Anyway, okay. Now, I did mention in one video something about, um, I've done it one time before, about some things can be, um, I did it one years ago, about some things like, you know, and then people, some people call somebody narcissistic, but some of the actions that they do could actually be cultural or, you know, from one particular uh, ethnic group or they were, raised in a different country, in a, in a certain area, a certain even caste system, you know, in a caste system, uh, or, you know, caste or class, whatever it is, they were raised in a particular one, and that, that is a part of that uh, class or caste. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've even used the word caste, seriously. Am I using it right? <laughs> I have to think about it. I'm a sociologist, even. Okay, now this had come up again in my own life, and then, and this happens quite often, you know, like, like people say, if you buy a certain color or a certain kind of car, you see, a, you suddenly see a bunch of them on the, the roads, you know, it's kind of like that, but not really, because it's kind of, same time, it's kind of surprising when you have a thought, and that happened to me ever since I was a kid, like you have a thought and you're connecting some dots, on something and then the next thing you know it's there on TV or it's there on a meme or something but anyway this one was one of those I was thinking again about this you know how things can be explained sometimes as cultural you know, like some cultures you know you have to walk a certain way or cast or class or whatever it is that it's expected that you walk a certain way or you're in an embarrassment to the family or your embarrassment to the to that um, ethnic group whatever and, you know, who are we to say what they're, they have to do? You see what I'm saying? You know, as long as they're not harming or hurting somebody. But some people, they will see that as that arrogance. And, uh, okay, there's some kids running. It's, it's arrogance. And some will see it as narcissistic. Some will see it as that's their culture. You see? Okay. Now, what weird coincidence came up <laughs> on this was I was thinking about um, I had mentioned in a video even this about when I was younger, people would say stuff like, um, you know, they would, when I was a kid, teenager even, you know, around there, even younger, um, they would say, you know, somebody's psycho, you know, the, the terms they used most often were psycho and schizoid, uh, schizo or schizoid even, um, but schizo, you know, when people were acting odd or something, you know, like then kids and teenagers and that really don't know what in the world they're talking about and there's some adults who really don't know but for me one of them I have to um, keep going back to you know and look over and read read over again you know I look over and read over again is the same thing really in this um, is that of schizophrenia okay because I can remember the names if, if, correct me if I'm wrong but the names of different things and then there's uh, whatever there's I don't even know they call them sub something uh, to these, and you add an extra one like uh, paranoid schizophrenia. The paranoid is added, and it's a separate, and it's so much. And then there's some different names like that were, and it started getting confusing to me at some point because that wasn't something that I saw much of, and it wasn't something that I really understood. I mean, like I said, I really didn't understand it, and I had studied it um, as an undergraduate and graduate. But not much. These these things um, cluster uh, A B C personality disorders, um, even mood disorders. All these things weren't really studied that. 
<laughs> okay, I kept having to edit and it seemed like it was one scene being played over and over. I had to cut it from one of them that started twice since then. And I don't know what's going on down there, whether it's, it's a teenager that's packing up something or what. I don't know, but it's weird. Anyway, let me try it. It was so distracting. All of it's still distracting. That person is still sitting kind of catty-corny catty corner to me I don't know why and I, now I'm you know I've said this before anytime I say something I am tested on it over and over and over again like the people who you know watch me um, the woman that took the videos of me and the pictures of me sitting at the park one time yeah that was pretty strange and I said you know if you're gonna live in front of a, a park don't be paranoid and I said and I do understand the other side of it and this is me having to understand the other side of it again yeah to make it part catty corner to me and they're just parked there so yeah okay but anyway I, I know this is going to happen to me I've been saying this since I was in my 30s or before then that yeah I know that whenever I make a statement like um, like I, like I just said, I've already been through all that. It's gonna, I'm going to be tested on it. So, anyway, now let me see if I can get back to this. Which, so I'm just showing you the sky, so you don't see all the activity going on. Okay. Um, now, like I said, I had, I had made video years ago about this, about different consistent that can be in culture. That some might call um, narcissistic behavior when it's not, it's just something culture, such as uh, you would be disloyal to or dis, um, you're not showing your duty to your family if you do this or that, or if you don't, or if you don't like walk strong, um, and, you know, like men with their chest out, then they're not showing that they're proud, or, you know, and, and then other cultures. Showing that you're proud is bad, or other religions. It can be religions, too, that it's bad. Anyway, so, then something came up in my own life recently about it, and then this came up. I started reading something because of a question I had, which was, you know, some of these people who are attacking online, in video, and these, you know, there's various social media platforms you can make videos, they're attacking people who are, um, they're, and they're calling it, um, they're calling it that they are being, that the car left, <laughs> that they're, and the guy nodded, it was a kid, I think a teenager, maybe, but, uh, anyway, um, okay, they're calling it, they're, they're, they're thinking the person is, I don't think they even consider that the behaviors of these people are, um, um, like a cluster B that, that could be a part of a, a personality disorder. Yet at the same time, you'll hear these days, you hear narcissism thrown around like, you know, narcissistic and histrionic. These are just thrown around, not even, not really, you know, just thrown around. Just anything. Oh, if a person does this, if a person does that, they're narcissists. They're, and they don't really at, match up. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes they do, sometimes, but quite often they don't. Okay, and, it, and now I mentioned this about, um, you know, when I was younger, people say, that's, you know, you're being psycho, or not me, but, you know, they're being, they're psychos, or they're uh, schizoids, and they didn't really mean when we were kids, we didn't really know what they were, what we were talking about, we just knew when somebody was acting odd. That, that seems to be repeating through, as, as such through some adults. You see what I'm saying? Some adults still are using those same words and terms and meanings when they really don't know what they're talking about. Okay, finally get all this together here. And uh, and what has worried me is that some of these people, they, they seem to think, and you know, that they're going to change that person by simply pointing out that person's behavior. Some don't care, they're getting money from it. Some have clicks and views, as some call it, and they get money somehow, some way, by doing, you know, and they're the type that are, you know, they, they call themselves commentary channel, reaction channels, and they're just as bad, some of them, not all, none of this is all, um, they're just as bad as the ones that, the, the, they have just as bad behaviors as the ones they're pointing out. They're not the same 
type of behavior, but they're still just as bad. And uh, it's all kind of like a game, a scam to some of them uh, to make more money, you know, to get more attention, to get more clicks and views and then for money. Anyway, um, but it kind of worries me at the same time because you, if you really are dealing with somebody who's a true psychopath or a sociopath or um, well, let's just say that one, either one of those two. Okay, now I know the definitions have changed and all that stuff, yeah. Um, but anyway, somebody who is, can be physically and or etc. Uh, dangerous, any way dangerous. Okay, and uh, and they're sitting up there and they're making fun of them. Ha ha ha, laugh, let me show their clips and let me, you know, ha ha ha, let me point out and then try to embarrass them and humiliate them. Really, what are you messing with? And that's blaming the victim, by the way. That would be blaming the victim. Seriously, I just, that, that would be me blaming the victim because they're doing that. They're, they're poking the hibernating bear. Um, but it's still, it's still, you know, these humans shouldn't try to do true harm to each other, other people. You know, they, you can't say that if, Somebody gets hit by somebody that, oh, they poked them, and they pushed it, and it's their fault. Some do. Some of those people who don't, truly, just don't understand the whole concepts of any of this. They will, they will blame the victim. But that's my worry, is that they are going to poke somebody who has that mentality. And they may even, recently, especially hearing this one woman, and it winds up being more than one, uh, blaming women for being for whatever has happened to them by males. I'm, I'm leaving out the words, okay? And they're blaming the women. And like I say, um, not me personally, but it got tested, my view on that, because we all know, I think we all know that sometimes it's true, the, this part is true, that a, a woman accusing a man of doing something that he didn't do, or, it could be a woman. It could be either one, male, female, whatever gender identification is being accused or is wrongfully accusing can happen. And we all know that. But it's not that common. I don't think. I'm a social behavioral scientist. So taught at college and university. Anyway, let's move on. Here. Okay, all these things. And I'm thinking, and it's not, it's not only about that. Boy, I am really having you getting distracted by something that is kind of scary on the one side and trying to do this video. Well, I need to find a new place, but then that's kind of scary. Okay, anyway, so I'm, I'm a little worried about these people who are sitting up there and they're poking the hibernating bear. Well, hibernating bear should not come after them and kill them. You know, this kind of thing, okay? You know, like a hibernating bear would chase if you poked a hibernate, hibernating bear. What would it do? That's blaming the victim. Anyway. But I really am saying, you need to walk away from this because you're dealing with, and this is my personal view, in my mind, this is something more. The behaviors that they're seeing, that I'm seeing, have a good chance, and I'm not diagnosing, but they have a good chance of being something pretty bad. Just what they're saying is pretty bad. And here is somebody thinking they're so smart and they're sitting, Sitting more than one person, by the way, sitting back there on their high horse, and they're pointing out that person's name or that person. That person has maybe doxxed themselves and or others, and they they point. And they just care, don't care. They they continue to do the same thing, and because it makes them get some clicks and views and more, there for more money. And you're messing with somebody who's not right in the head. For anybody to say the things that have been said that I have seen. This is not right in the head. Okay, to, to make it very clear, simplified. And you're poking them? You're acting like you're superior to them? And you're, you're hoping that you agitate them for more money, so you can get more money and more attention, and like you're so smart, and you, you've just solved the whole, all the problems and all that? What's wrong with your head that you would do that? 
this might not, you know, this, this kind of stuff, it scares, it really does worry me for the, all these people involved. Because if you got somebody who somehow, maybe possibly even psychotic, but what, where I'm finally going to get to, and this is what's going on to the left of me, is really worrying me. Really. Okay. Anyway, real life is happening in the middle of this video. But you're, you're messing with somebody. I'm not going to blame you as a victim, but why are you doing it? What's wrong with you, too? You know, you, what if you have people with both sides, all involved, people watching, you know, more disturbed people? Might not go so great in the long run because you're, you know, maybe someone's sitting there saying, oh, I'm going to make some money off of this if I do that. that, that, that. Okay. But what I, what I was also thinking was the other word that we used when we were kids. And I don't know much about like I just said through all this so, so long, I don't understand much about schizoid, you know, schizophrenia. Now, what I've seen on TV, you know, they're going to exaggerate possibly, you know, whatever, or a show, a movie, whatever is the case. It may be exaggerated, but they're pretty scary too, what, the, what I've seen on TV and all that. It seems more like they're more or less about other people, but more about themselves. I don't know. I'm, I'm not... A voice of authority on that at all. Okay. And, uh, but you miss, but people who are messing with someone who possibly has some kind of personality disorder, wow. Okay, one allergic reaction later. Anyway, it's gonna happen. Every video, every time. <laughs> Not one to say every time. Anyway, uh, but yeah, okay, what's going on here? Okay, hopefully I'll get my voice back here, but what's going on here? Okay, is, is it just a bunch of disturbed people who are messing with one another? But that can't, I can't imagine that ever having anything good come from it uh, in the long run. No. Um, but what if they are so naive as to think that it's just a bad behavior? It's just one thing that they're doing. It's just, like it's just. It's just this. It's just that. And this person is... Like I said, when I was young, we just would say totally psycho. Okay? About to go psycho. About to go schizoid on you. You know, these things, when I was younger, that's what we say. But these people, just they just seem to be thinking it's just a difference in personality. One more allergic reaction later. But anyway, they, they just seem like to think it's something, a difference in some part of a personality or... Uh, political bent or and or you see that they, they just think it's it's just it's just something little and you know they they if they or they see themselves as they're more educated and they have a better idea and they're trying to tell that other person you know see here I'm superior to you in this knowledge of this and I would not think the way that you do when it could be like I'm trying to say Something I've been frightened for them for about what, what could be the outcome. They need to stop, but I'm not telling anybody. I'm not giving anybody advice, but that need, that should stop. Seriously. Okay, so anyway, I, I did look up, you know, schizophrenia, and I have a DSM uh, for uh, TR. And I also have that, and I have one that it's called something like that, Made, made Easy or something. <laughs> And then I have a little um, guide book. <clears throat> oh my goodness, this is this is an unbelievable allergy attack. Anyway, um, but when I looked up schizophrenia, one of the things somewhere in, in it it said it can't. They these are people who have this, whatever it was. I think it was paranoid schizophrenia, and. Uh, um, it, it made this con this this that they can't be persuaded that they are incorrect despite facts presented. Okay, this was under schizophrenia, under I think paranoid schizophrenia. Now, I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. And I think it was a um, I think it was maybe no, like I said, one of those three books. My goodness, but um. Think about that. How many people have you seen online? And people are telling them, look, 
you know, what you're saying, that, that's not factual. And here is actual proof, actual facts from a true voice of authority, not just somebody to just say Billy Bob Jimbo and Sally Sue and Tiff and Miff and all those people, you know, that I say. Not just somebody, but an actual scientist. If it's a science, it's an actual scientist. You know, scientist, plural, not just one. Not one who's trying to make money, because you can find plenty of those. Those kind of like false prophets if you're religious. You can find plenty of those. Yeah, but I'm talking actual scientists. Okay? They, they work from a, an actual university or something, you see? Because these days you can find far too many who are not. Who are not, you know, the, how else would you put it? Their research has gone through the test of these and these and those. And, you know, people who are, are actual scientists would recognize as being actual scientists. Except for those false prophets. Woo, wow. <laughs> anyway, the, the people can't be persuaded. Somebody is say, hey, you're wrong. You know, they, there are people who say uh, 2 plus 2 is 17. You know, something like this. You say, oh, uh, no, 1 plus 1 isn't 17 either. You know, but they cannot be persuaded. Despite whatever they have. If they have two apples sitting on the table, they're going to see 14. And they can't be persuaded. If you tell them that, you know, this, if you do this, it can lead to really bad results. And they, here's the proof. They're still going to put out there that no, so they're going to put out some misinformation, disinformation to their followers. They cannot be persuaded. They're not wrong to them in their minds, but they are. Okay. okay, so like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm not a voice of authority on this topic with schizophrenia. And you know, I don't know what they can do. What was, an exa was it exaggerated what I've seen on TV, on movies and shows, or is it... My comment is, is it based on reality, real facts, and real life? But yeah, I would be afraid. I would really be afraid to pinpoint one person, you know, not instead of, you know, a person can make up a hypothetical fictional, a person can get from the DSM and say this is this, this is that. But people who are actually poking and hibernating bear just for your own safety, why are you doing it? For safety reasons, why aren't you taking care of yourself? And say, I'm not going to do that. Because I'm, not, I'm no better than to poke a hibernating bear. But that's blaming the victim and some points of that. Same time, if you're telling yourself, okay, why, you know, if you ask yourself, why am I doing this again? And there's something other than money, and you're, and you're not even considering that these people could hurt you hurt your loved ones, hurt you, your loved ones, you think you're, you're above it all, you, nothing bad would happen to you, there's so many problems with that in itself, the people who are grown adults, any age really, and they think that something bad can happen to them, seriously, they do something like poke the hibernate, hibernating bear, boy, if I say hibernating wrong one more time, <laughs> I am, but I don't give anybody any advice, anything along that line it just it just worries me when I see this and see it repeated because they're they're really to me the ones who are who are poking them are uh, attention seekers I used to when I was younger and I would call them attention sluts but you know, I was I was different when I was younger um, not really not too much but um, you know they're attention seekers they are adult mean girls adult mean boys and they just, too many of them just don't care. As long as it's making, getting them attention they want, the money they want, the clicks, the views, the whatever they want. Their mind is not thinking beyond that. And seeing these people can be dangerous, really dangerous. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'm wrapping up. You saw, you get to watch the sun go down. Isn't that beautiful? It looks, it looks more beautiful on the camera than it does in the sky this time usually it's the other way around but really this this does look beautiful so you it's much better to look something you can view than all the chaos that was going on down here at <laughs> this park and this road and the whole neighborhood yeah so i'll talk to you on another video
I'm wrapping it up.